me and Lars are two, we're both two different worlds of entertainment, but they're both entertainment. So like they always say, wrestling, wrestling is like rock and roll. It's, it's sex, drugs, and rock and roll. That's the, the culture I can't nowadays. It's different. The new generation is really right. cleaned up, cleaned up wrestling. But when I broke in, it was that it was sex, drugs, rock and roll, sex, drugs, music. That was everything. That's the motto guys lived by. Now it's a little bit different. The young guys have, have taken a step towards more, more so away from that uh, toxic culture. But when I broke in, it was just, it was kind of like an outlaw thing. Yeah. I mean, and that's the, one of the things that I've always found where I've connected with professional wrestlers is because of the, you know, our jobs are obviously very different, but yet they're the same. They're very physical, right? They're a performance mm -hmm. and it's all about the traveling and the sort of uncertainty of tomorrow, you know, cause, and that's, that happens in any kind of performer's world, really, unless you're fucking Michael Jordan or whatever, but then you're, <laughs> then you're now you're just a crying meme. So, you know, I don't know, but anyways, my, I, the question I really wanted to ask is, you know, throughout the years that I've been a professional wrestling fan, um, one of the things that I, that I have noticed between people who work together is that they share a sort, certain intimacy, you know, because you have to be able to trust this person with your body, et cetera, right? And you kind of get closer uh, to someone in a different way, but it's a closest, like maybe your partner or what, or, you know, might not, might not have with you. Do you find that, like, because I know you've had matches that aren't death matches, mm -hmm. right? And you have relationships, I'm sure, with those people. But did you find like a truer or a, a different, deeper connection with the death match? wrestling do you walk in after the guy you know you two you know and just like fucking hug because you made it out alive in a sense you know yeah well death i've learned death matchings the locker room's different the culture everything's different outside of regular wrestling because for a while that first 10 years i was strictly in in like more higher end indie like bigger stars and stuff like that and then when it, when you go into a death match for a locker room it's people I'm a one one I don't want to be disrespectful and be like oh well everyone's trying to step on each other but when you're in a tank full of sharks everybody's kind of trying to eat each other yeah. you know in a deathmatch locker room I feel like everyone tries to work together more we we kind of understand we're putting each other's bodies in our in each other's hands more so when we get we're going to get hurt way worse than somebody who's going to just wrestle a regular mat mat technician type of match I mean we're cutting our our bodies up you know what I mean? We're bleeding together, sometimes getting badly cut, badly hurt, ending up in the hospital. So we're going to obviously have a deeper connection. So I, I noticed that the minute I walked into a deathmatch locker room compared to walking into a normal wrestling locker room, I felt like there was less bad intentions uh, mm. for pe when it came to people just trying to step on each other. And everyone didn't really have a means of having an ulterior motive because, you know, deathmatch wrestling is a niche genre. You know what I mean? We're in our eyes, we're only going so far. We're not like these dudes who are like, we're going to get on TV. We're going to get titles. We're going to go here, there, there. Death matching is this small and we're all trying to get a piece of the pie and it's easier for us to get there together than one single person. And that's just the way that it was viewed when I uh, came into a death match locker room compared to just a regular locker room. 